Manchester United won Norwich nil. Um, I think the first thing I'll start off with as is in the title is um, uh, pray for Lindelof. Um, I didn't quite catch into the game, but sounds like he he was complaining of quite significant chest pain and difficulty breathing. Um, so um, I just pray that he's he's okay. Um, as I've said several times in previous videos, the amount of fixtures that we that players play going into this this period, you know, when other teams are kind of winding down, as well as the as well as obviously um, the additional games. Uh, due to uh, due to catching with the pandemic, um, has put a lot of pressure on players, uh, and so we pray that he'll be that he'll be fine. Um, I think that um, it probably would be a good idea. I, I I think it's a good idea. We need to rotate. Um, I think this is this is, for me. It's quite important. We need to rotate a defence. So I would expect maybe Eric Bay to come in from the following game. Um, but yeah, it's just important. I think from the safety, I'm making a safety for the safety of our players that we actually. Um, actually rotate the squad so that you know for injuries and also just from a health point of view you know um and it's and it's quite important but let me just focus uh, so that's that let me just focus on the on the rest of the game um so that this match fraction is late and busy at work um core cool moments of it but the gist of it for my see is that we were just poor we were really poor um Norwich would have would have won but for De Gea who's having a fantastic season for Manchester United um and if it wasn't for a somewhat dubious penalty, um, although to be honest, that was the highlight of today, dubious penalties for Chelsea, City and Liverpool. I don't think Liverpool's was dubious, but they could have given another one away. Um, so a lot of the big teams benefited from refereeing decisions this week. Um, and, you know, we got the win and I'm happy because um, it's a win. But to be honest, we played badly. The manner in which we played, but we, we played was badly. And... Ragnick was very upfront and said, listen, this is garbage. This is absolutely garbage. Um, and I do think now, you know, the excuse of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, poor football and such and such is, is is gone. Now it's on the players to really perform and do what they wants to do. Um, personally, I think some of these players um, need to be dropped. Um, potentially Bruno, potentially McTominay, um, potentially, like say, Maguire, because the defence that all over the place again when he's there. Um, we need some of these players dropped. You know, I would I want to see by I want to see Van der Beek coming in, maybe playing where maybe say play Van der Beek where Bruno's playing and have him come off the bench. Um, you know, obviously we've got our youngsters in uh, Langren and Amma to come in if Sancho's been fought. Rashford needs to be dropped. Rashford has been awful since he came back from injury, maybe one or two games he's been bad. He needs to be dropped, unfortunately. I don't really understand why Martial can't get a game um, because Rashford has not been great. Um, Greenwood should at least um, come back into the team or maybe even try Langer. Um, but overall, we were very lucky to win today. And, you know, I was hoping that maybe this win would spearhead the next couple of games to, 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 for us to actually um, go on a good run. But now I'm approaching them with, with trepidation because the likes of Brentford, the likes of um, Newcastle, even under Andy Howe, um, the likes of Brighton are all going to be, those are actually going to be difficult games, potentially banana skins. Brentford play a lot of expansive football and can cause us problems and they have better finishes than Norwich have in terms of Ipuki. Um, Same thing with Brighton, same thing with Newcastle. And if we're not careful, we could lose those games. We really could, you know. So we really need to improve, and we need to improve fast. Um, and while I appreciate that Ragnar hasn't had much time to implement what he needs to do, um, it's on the players now to basically step up and realize what situation they're in. Um, so overall, you know, I'm happy with the points. I'm glad that we won, um, but ultimately, it was still a bad performance. And Ollie's not here, um, so it's on the players. They need to step up. And perform if we're going to at the very least secure top four and have a somewhat decent season. Remember, guys, if you use the channel to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, we United X, smash the notification button, play this Manchester United news and more. Stay tuned and join us for our I think we're doing a Champions League draw reaction. Get involved with that. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.